Good afternoon guys, I'm super excited to be down here. We've got a two hour mission to try and catch a fish before that sun goes down. What we're going to do tonight, we're going to try to be tight. I want to catch a fish and cook it for dinner. I don't want to spend money on dinner, so the aim is to get out there, catch a fish, cook it on one of the barbecues behind us. I want to show you just how easy it is to do a catch and cook in Geraldton. Especially if you're here on holidays, guys. Come down, catch a fish, cook it on our beautiful facilities, and most of all, get around each other, enjoy your time here in Gelton. I don't like when people bypass Gelton. If you're on your way north, we are a good fishing destination, check it out. Tonight, what we're gonna be using, it's one of these, Helco Slide Dogs. We're gonna use the 28 gram tonight. It's gonna to be just enough to punch into the subway. The is about 20 knots tonight. We've got about a 0.6 of a metre tide, just enough water to fish for Taylor. So this slide dog in the FIFO colour, perfect for it. And I'm using my favourite outfit. This is hands down the best one I've got. I can't wait to use it. This is my baby, the Shimano Twin Power 5000 salt water. It's a fantastic reel. Spooled with 20 pound braid, and I'm using a grappler C type rod. This thing casts a mile, it punches into the wind. This will be phenomenal. And just wait here guys, we've got new singlets coming out this Sunday. Check them out online, northernags.com. If you want one, get one. Thanks for all your support so far. Let's get out in the water, get a fish, get into them, and we'll go from there. I'm just so excited about tonight. Haven't been fishing for a good week. And I brought my own pre-made burley. What I did here is got some whiting frames, cooked them up, put plenty of breadcrumbs through them, and this will really help. This should work just nicely. Well, here it goes. Here's the secret burley. Let's put it in. This should work just beautifully. We're just going to empty the contents of the bag out like so. Make sure you hold the bag. You don't want to litter. We'll bring that back with us. As you can see, it's already putting a bit of a slick out there. This should work just fine. By the time I get back out here with my lure, there should be some tail hanging around. Holy crap, I should be diving today. Look at this. The water is so clear. It's going to be a pristine night standing out here. This is going to be unreal. I can't wait. Wow, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a huge oil slick out there just from that little bag of whiting frames that have been crumbed up in oil. I reckon we're on here. The only problem is the shovel is blowing it south, but the tailor will work their way up. Let's get one. So there's the 105 slide dog. We cast it down the slick. Rod tip down. Trying to shield the wind with my body. Flick, 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 flick. Slow flicks, try to draw out the bite. We might have dinner here. We can stay on. Yes, beautiful herring. Stay on, stay on. Oh no, that's the smallest tail I've ever seen. No way. Look at that fish. It's just a baby. Smallest tail I've ever seen. Not quite dinner size. So we'll put you back. There you go, mate. See ya. Woo. I'm pumped, guys. There's no fish up where I was, but 100 meters down in the Burley Trail, I've seen fish getting sprayed around. This could be something special. Let's get into it. It's never too shallow for Taylor. Oh, I'd love to get absolutely smashed right now. Come on. Where are they? I've seen the bait getting sprayed. I know you're here. Come on. Come on, it's a matter of time. Hunt it down. Where are you guys? Stop hiding from me. I know there's Taylor out here. Just gonna get a bang at some stage. What I love about this rod, 75 meters to 100 meter casts. Absolutely no problem, look at that. Right out in the back in the sand over all this weed. 
that's where you're going to find them. They're moving around hunting up bait fish. We're going to find one. They're going to think this is a little potty mullet and just smash it. There we go. There's bait there again. Just looking for the predator. Sorry, I just turned the camera off and he decided to go for a run. Here we go. That's dinner right there. And he's getting there. He's getting in the air. On the line. There we go. We'll walk back. That is dinner. Done. I'm ecstatic. We'll loosen the line off. They actually have softer mouths than you think. So they can tear off quite easily. There you have it. That's going to be premium eating right there. So we're going to get him out of the water, dispatch him. That's if he stays on. He's been a bit aerial. That's about 450 mil. That's a good fish. It's a perfect eating fish. You've got to be stoked with that. Jump and jump and jump. You can see right now, head shakes. I'm trying to flick that lure. It's getting a bit tired now. I think we've, I think we've defeated him. He's hooked in the corner of the jaw, so this should be a good, a good hold on the hook. Wow, that is going to be an amazing dinner. Look at that, he has just inhaled that slide dog. Can't wait to cook him up on the foreshore. That's a beautiful fish. So I've got my best mate Vaughn behind the camera. He just came down, he's gonna help me film this. I've got my side cut knives. We're gonna make short work of this tailor. And it is going to be delicious. So we're going to have this nine inch blade with a curve. We're going to start up here. We're going to start up near the pectoral fin. So that's the pectoral fin there. We're going to make an incision there, run down to this ventral fin. And we're just going to let the knife do the work. We're not going to force it. There we go. Look at that. It's coming off beautifully. So we're down past the ventral fin. So there we are, we're up at the ventral fin. We don't want to cross that backbone because what we want to do is come from the other side and run along the spine. This way, we're going to get the most yield off our fish. There we go, running the spine, up through the ribs. Now, Taylor have really weak pin bones, so we're just going to snap them with the knife there we go, straight through the pin bones. Voila! There's our beautiful fillet to eat. We'll quickly knock off the other fillet and then I'll show you how to skin them and we'll go cook it. Yeah, so we've got the two fillets. I'm going to show you how to skin real easy. These skinning knives are the best thing ever invented. I don't know how we're going to go on this rocky surface, but we'll give it a crack. So I'll make an incision. I'll leave about five mil of meat just so we can get under it. I'm going to run this the whole way down the fillet, works better on a flat surface, and keep running down the fillet until we're left with this. And then all we're left with is a beautiful fillet and the skin. I'm gonna chuck this in some alfoil and we'll get cooking, let's do it. So we've got our fillets, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap them individually. The Jelton wind is horrendous, so I've gotta put everything in the pocket down here. It's blowing about 20 knots, which is not too bad for here. Again, the wind is causing havoc. Here we go. Put that on the fillet. That's all good. I've chopped up the onion earlier, so we're gonna put the onion in on top. And here's the special stuff you need. Got a secret. We're gonna use this taco seasoning because we're gonna eat them like tacos. So what we're gonna do is just douse that in taco seasoning. Gonna wrap this up. We're gonna put them on for about 15 to 20 minutes and they should be cooked and we'll put them in wraps. Listen to that, it's sizzling up. This is gonna be brilliant. It's getting hot, can't be too long now, I'm getting hungry. Well, we must be onto a winner. We just had this lady walk past and she commented on how good it smelled. And I reckon it's about two minutes off being done. It's going to be so good. Okay, so let's have a look at one of these parcels. Let's open it up. Look at that, that is beautiful. We just gotta put that in a wrap and it's done. 
So here we go. Let's make some dinner. We've got a mission wrap there. We've got our tailor fillet. Let's break it up and just put it in there. That's going to be delicious. Look at all that juice. That is going to be incredible. But we also have the avocado here. We're just going to open that up. Take the side without the ball to make work easier. Really gently, because these knives are so sharp, just cut that up, push it inside out. This is very minimalistic way of cooking. No tools, we're just gonna scoop that out, who cares? Put that to the side. To finish it off, we got taco sauce. This should be absolutely delicious. Let's put that all together in a wrap and have a taste. My God, that is phenomenal. I think I only caught that about 15 minutes ago and now it's in this wrap. That's a lie, probably 20 minutes ago because I had to cook it. That is absolutely delicious. has been just a phenomenal evening i'm so happy that i did this i'm absolutely buzzing you're going to see more content like this this year we've got some really big trips planned and we're really going to push our limits and i can't wait this is amazing for you guys watching you need to know eve is about to embark on one of her dream jobs she's doing seven months of charter she'll be hitting she'll be hitting the montebello islands the abrolis islands Broome, Darwin and everything in between. Between the two of us, we're gonna show you some of the most amazing things WA has to offer. So keep watching us. There's so much more coming this year. It's going to be incredible.